Okay, now 3D people, 3D, uh, who finished 3D? Okay, um, all other students, grab them, <laughs> one of them. <laughs> when you 3D print, check your file with them. Okay, 3D, to use 3D printer, what is critical is that your geometry must be closed poly surface. What does that mean is, this one so far now is actually open poly surface because its top and bottom is open. So actually if I select it, if you see that this one is open surface and 3D printer cannot print any open geometry. They must be closed. So we need to close it. How to close it? We need to create some surface. So in this case, in our layer 01, we have this curve. So I will create a surface using this curve, which is surface planar curves. So I will do first this one. So I will click surface planar curves and select planar curves to build a surface. Then I'll select this one and I select it and enter. Then now I just create a surface exactly inside the curve. I need to do this one for another for the bottom size too. That's why you need when you loft, you have to loft very precise and normal. If you use loose or something simplified form, uh, then actually the curves and actually the outside geometry does not match each other. So try to use normal or straight or precise one. So I'll repeat this. I will want I want to make a surface for the bottom to close the bottom area. So I click surface, planar curves. I select the curves on the bottom and enter. And then you see that self-intersection input curves are found. Use curve blend processing. If, if you see something kind of this kind of error, I will do not click yes. So I will click no and I will check what is the problem. So I will simply uh, unhide it and then I will simply check again. So I select this curve. Okay, then I will click surface, planar curves. So which means this one self-intersecting input curves are found. So I will do not use that. Instead, I will just okay, I will delete unnecessary thing. Another function to create a silhouette, the silhouette of a geometry is using what is the name of it? Can you guess? Section. I just said silhouette. silhouette. Oh, okay. So if I click it, enter, select the surface to silhouette, I select the surface and enter, then you see that, uh, okay, I'll, I'll repeat one more time, silhouette, select the surface and enter, then you see that I got a curve from the geometry. And then I will use this curve to make flat surface using surface planar curve. Then actually I have perfect surface for the bottom. Still, if I check this one, the property, it is this one, this one is open surface, the bottom one is open surface. To make a closed poly surface, you can use a join function. So join, select object for join, I select the bottom one and the neighboring geometry. Okay, then I will select again for the neighboring geometry. So now this one is closed poly surface, which is perfect for 3D printing. So if you have, please check whenever you 3D print, your geometry must be closed poly surface. And then this problem happens frequently when you use uh, SketchUp or some geometry from AutoCAD using kind of some 3D command. Make sure that you export your geometries from SketchUp and AutoCAD, re-import in Rhino using import function, and then actually you can import all sorts of 3D geometry like DWG, DXF, or OBJ, which you can, or even SketchUp file, so check your geometries in Rhino. Okay, so now this one is safe to 3D print.